Hi everyone, welcome back. Do you remember this? Uh, I think we did for a little while, didn't we, with, with all the mayhem going on. But now things are starting to settle down. Some of us YouTubers can go backwards and remind ourselves and everyone what was actually said at the time. So this is what Harry said. So, Prince Harry has put this week's matters into his own words by delivering a speech at Centreball in London, a charity he founded which supports mental health. He began by noting the obvious, I can only imagine what you have heard or read over the past few weeks, he said. I want you to hear the truth from me, not as a prince or a duke, but as Harry, the same man you've watched grow up over the past 35 years but now with a clearest perspective. The Duke and Duchess of Sutter... Sut <laughs> the Duke... Oh, right, let's just say their names correctly. The Desperate Ones of Montecito announced they would be stepping down as senior members of the royal family last week, a decision which sent shockwaves throughout the palace. Yesterday, the Queen and Buckingham Palace released separate statements citing Harry and Meghan would no longer have HRH in their titles and would be financially independent. <laughs> we wish. Even offering to pay back the sovereign for renovation costs to their home, Frogmore Cottage. Hmm, did they? I'm not sure about that. Stepping away was not a decision we made lightly, noted Harry. What I want to make clear is... We're not walking away, and we're certainly not walking away from you. Hmm, OK. Our hope was that we would continue to serve the Queen, the Commonwealth and my military associations, but without public funding. Oh, <laughs> he continued. Unfortunately, that wasn't possible. I've accepted this, no I've accepted this knowing it doesn't change who I am or how committed I am, but I hope that helps you understand what it had come to, that I would step my, fa step my family back from all that I had ever known to, take a step forward into what I hope can be a more peaceful life. There was a, oh yeah, right, it says here, it has been a privilege to serve you, so this is Harry continued, sorry, I don't know why it's cut off the other bit, it has, it has been a privilege to serve you and we will continue to lead a life of service so in that respect nothing changes <laughs> i will always have the utmost respect for my grandmother my commander in chief and my family for the support they have shown megan and i over the past few months <coughs> i'll do a screenshot of this and put it um at the end just so you can see properly the truth can't be hidden and the truth will always expose itself naturally. That's just the way the world goes, isn't it? And uh, I, I think now what needs to happen is every single YouTuber needs to pump this out in the hopes that one of the desperate pair will read it and remember and think, oh, God, no, I remember saying that. And now, oh, and they'll be like, oops, <laughs> oopsie doodle. Oh dear, goodness, I just can't believe the audacity, absolute audacity. What they were really hoping for was that their security, their IPPI status, whatever way it goes around, was still publicly paid for, that's what they wanted. And they, he still wanted a monthly fund from his, from his dad. Um. So... In his head, he was going to be in like financially independent, but he know he knew he'd have his dad's money to fall back on. So, you know, he's he's oh, in a in a way told half a truth there, um, but because they couldn't get their own way, and obviously. They weren't happy about it, so they had to just make a, even more fools of themselves. 
Now, I don't like word, using the word fool because apparently that's not a nice word to use. I can think of worse words, but apparently a fool is a forbidden word in some religions. Um, <clears throat> but, yeah, they, they have been rather foolish, really. You know, as the saying goes, uh, oh, God, how does it say go? Um, it's better to be quiet and not be known as a fool than to speak and be known as a fool anyway. Something like that. I can't remember now. It's one of them tongue twisters. But yeah, so I just wanted to remind everyone and I hope you'll share this around. And uh, with all the hashtags in your tweets and your posts and everything, just in the hopes that one of the desperate cringe pair will get to read it and rethink about their lies because already... Cruella, the harlot of Montecito, has already backtracked, hasn't she? And now decided to say, oh, subjective. Oh, it was subjective. Oh, recollection, recollection, recollection. <laughs> Reco right. Recollections may vary. <laughs> I can do it. <laughs> and little Miss Forgetful. Oh, dear. Let, well, let's just hope that this judge in... Um, the court case with her sister. Let's just hope that judge is awake and alert and doesn't fall for any of her trickery or sorcery for that matter. Gordon Bennett, can you imagine her uh, trying to get the judge in the closet? <laughs> anyway, guys, thanks for watching. See you later.